back out again, they would need to go out again. That's, that's correct. So it, that's essentially uh, going to be a hold on the rule, correct, because we're changing the terms? In a sense. Um, I mean, you wouldn't be adopting it, you wouldn't be issuing it, and that's true. So we'll then have another uh, another set of oral arguments. We would set up uh, yeah, another and another, mm -hmm. and another, another vote. That's correct. And then afterwards, uh, I've asked you this, afterwards, if we decided to uh, vote on this, we'd have to have another amendment, and then they'd have to go out once again, right? If you were to approve the staff recommendation, yes, it would, it would go out again. We'd have another round of comments and another oral hearing. <coughs> Commissioner Everett's referring to Commissioner Wise's motion. If that gets passed in the future, then there would be two. Uh, that would be correct, then, yes. I guess I've already had six. I, I have an, through no fault of mine, Commissioner. <laughs> I, I have an objection to an indefinite hold. I mean, I, the only thing I would say, and you know, Commissioner Everett's kind of alluding to it, is, is if, if you do it the way that Commissioner Wise is requested, you you could potentially, assuming that we, that staff's recommendations were going to pass today, and do it the way that he wanted to do it, you avoid having two sets of uh, rules going out and two oral arguments where if, uh, if you were to pass staff's recommendation today and it goes out and then 40, 30 or 45 days from now, whatever it is, Commissioner Wise's motion gets you back up and we're with deja vu all over. So you 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 object to object to an indefinite hold. Well, Commissioner Wise, you you got to be putting it up for a vote then. I think I'm what's not up indefinite. You know, uh, I'm not always a great fan of compromise, but I think that I've, I've worked toward something in this regard that I've given the commission an opportunity to have the, the, the companies work with the rest of the state government to bring back something. And at the behest of anybody on this commission, you can bring it back when you think that the database is ready and ready for a vote under the concept that I propose. If, if it's the will of this commission, if one commissioner doesn't want to hold, wants to vote on it today, that's fine. I'll vote against the rule that's proposed, as I've maintained uh, the whole time, and that I will do no further work on this project, and, and so because I'm not going to continue, as, as Commissioner Everett said, to continue to push this thing down the road. A hold's a hold's a hold. Uh, you know, when it's ready for, for and right for a decision under the concept that I propose, then we can do that. Uh, if you don't want to do that, that's fine as well. I'll just vote against this rule and, uh, and maintain my position that you're hurting people that don't need to be hurt. Commissioner Wise, I, I actually, uh, I, I like where you're going with this, with a verifiable state-run uh, database. This is your concept. I mean, this is, this is what you put up the last time. I voted against it. Uh, but, but in retrospect, I looked at it and I said, you know, it has some merit. Let's find out. But we've got a leadership change in DHR. Uh, we, we continue to hear rumors of, of what a verifiable database means and if and when they'll do it. Um, and and that's, that's the cost of my vote, is a verifiable database, one that's not confusing to the customers. Uh, I, I think it's a reasonable approach. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. Well, what would be wrong with having, uh, as your motion states, either the $5 charge, the 500 minutes, or the verifiable database? So if the database uh, is, is never created, then the $5 charge kicks in on January 1st as... Uh, Speaking of kicking, it's kicking the can down the road once again. And so that, that we vote on something today, we come back in, 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 in two months or three months or six months, and we don't have a verifiable database, and so then I get to vote against the final rule. I want to find something that I can support. If I, I can't, I'm okay with that. Uh, I, you know, I've, I've voted against this rule too many times to feel like I have to change now. Uh, I've reached out in the spirit of compromise. I think that it is a reasonable approach and can't understand why you wouldn't want to wait for, for 60, 90, uh, 180 days. But, but if you don't want to, that's fine. Having a, having uh, an open door policy as we have here, and I've listened to the providers, the cell phone providers, and, and I've been pleased with uh, some of the uh, changes and some of the approaches that they may have made and suggest it solves this problem. Uh, this problem, and of course, uh, Commissioner Everett in his effort 
is not to uh, to actually say, you know, we're going to put five dollars on a lifeline thin. His effort is to stop fraud and abuse. That's the whole goal of it. And with that said, and listening to uh, the industry itself and listening to the consumers themselves come forth, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, uh, I, I I fall in support of uh, Commissioner Wise's. Let's 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 get it all in place, and let's get the, the best that we can have from all the parties, i.e., the Department of Human Resources, uh, the industry itself, and our staff, and work together, and then make a one decision and make it go forward. But Commissioner Wise, I mean, just to be clear, uh, procedurally, uh, you know, the tradition of the commission is is that yes, we, we generally. 99% of the time we'll put something on hold until the next administrative session. Uh, at least one of the colleagues has objected to putting on hold indefinitely. I don't feel comfortable unilaterally doing that as chair. If you were to put your request up to a motion, I, I would vote for it. I think it's a good idea, but I'm not going to just unilaterally put it on hold indefinitely. Mr. Chairman, uh, since I'm the one who has uh, pushed it, and I have been pushing it over a year, and we've had six place this on hold indefinitely until we get uh, more information and I, I'm sure my colleague Commissioner Ever will be keeping a watchful eye on it so uh, you we'll put our one on hold item R2 item R2 is docket number 35068 rate case proceedings for track 2 companies consideration of Georgia Cable Association motion for continuance of hearings uh, Commissioners, the 